Hello, my fellow Uber drivers. I have a story to share with you that turned out to be a learning experience for me and hopefully it'll be a learning experience for you. So two weeks ago, I picked up a young guy in his early 20s in Ontario and he wanted to go to GameStop in Eastvale. So it's about 10 minutes away. Now, for those of you that don't know what GameStop is, it's a store that sells video games like PlayStation and Nintendo, things like that. So on the way there, he tells me that, or asks me if I could take him back to his home, his apartment complex in Ontario. He didn't want to wait for another Uber driver. And I said, well, sure. And then I asked him maybe a minute after that, and I said, well, how much are you willing to pay me? And he said, $10, which is exactly what I was thinking in my head. I thought $10 would be pretty fair. $5 would be the normal ride, but $10 would be even better. So I agreed. And he asked me if I had Venmo or Zelle. And I said, no, but I have PayPal. He said, oh, okay, then I can pay you on there. I said, sure, no problem. So we get to GameStop and he's in there for about two or three minutes. And he comes back, gets him out into my car. And I'm not driving yet. I'm waiting for him to get on PayPal so that he can pay me. So he gets on PayPal and for some reason it doesn't work. I'm like, okay. Then he calls his girlfriend who apparently he was living with and he asked her to come out to the apartment complex gate and bring $10 so that he could give it to me to pay for the ride. So I thought, okay, this sounds legitimate, you know. So, and I agreed with that, that's fine. And I trusted him. So we start driving back and we were, we were within three minutes of getting back to his apartment complex and he calls her again. And he says, we're almost there. Make sure you're out there. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. So we arrive there and she's not there. So I park in a parking space in his apartment complex. And he says, she's cooking right now. I'm going to go get the $10. So I should be back in 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds turns into five minutes. Five minutes turns into 10 minutes. 10 minutes turns into 15 minutes. After about five minutes, I'm starting to question, is he coming back? Then 10 minutes, I was like, oh, no, he's definitely not coming back. And then by 15 minutes, I was thinking to myself, oh, my goodness, he actually didn't come back. And so I was really, really upset. Number one, I wasted that ride. That was time that I wasted for that ride back from GameStop to his apartment complex. And then I wasted another 15 minutes waiting for him to come back. So I was extremely upset. And obviously, he just ditched me, you know. Um, so I just reported it to Uber, and they apologized. They didn't really do much about it, and except tell me that they wouldn't match me with that driver again. I changed my rating on him, but it ruined my day. I mean, it totally ruined my day. And I just didn't want to drive after that. I did because I needed the money. But it totally ruined my day. So this is what I have to say to you, fellow drivers. If someone asks you to do a favor, make sure either you have Zelle or Venmo and they pay you right then and there. Or if you don't, you tell them you give me cash or you just have to get another driver. Simple as that. Now, the reason I did this is because I've had Uber riders in the past asked the same favor. In fact, one time a guy gave me $100 for going out of my way to take him to Long Beach Airport from uh, from his apartment in Long Beach. And I thought, okay, that, that was pretty good. So I, I did trust people in the past and I benefited in the past. However, from now on, just to protect myself and you also need to protect yourself, make sure that you get the cash in your hand or you make sure that the payment is done on the app and then you get that money right then and there before you take the person back to wherever they want to go for that extra ride that you don't have to do. So that's all I have to say for you guys. Um, you got to be careful out there. You know, there are scammers out there and you just can't trust everybody and just make sure you get that money, then you can take them if they want an extra favor. Or you could just say, no, I'm sorry, I don't do 
extra favors like that, you're going to have to get another ride from another driver. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much.